Sunday, and sadly, is one of the first things cut in education these days, and in some regards, may be the most important, stretching a student's creativity and imaginary talents in the arts. Our next guests are uh, making sure the arts are still a vital part of our world for generations to come. It's the National Young Arts Foundation, which nurtures and recognizes some of the nation's talent and young artists. Their list of alumni, mighty impressive, too. We'll talk about that. Pleased to have the nonprofit's Digital Communication and Alumni Relations Director, Megan Harmon, with us, and a former National Young Arts student, Zachary Ostroff. How are you guys? Good. Thanks Great to have you here. Yeah. Zach, we've been talking music here off camera. <laughs> That's right. This started back in 1981. Yeah, 1981. Give our viewers a little thumbnail sketch of what okay. you guys do. Well, we are, it's an amazing organization because it's the only national organization of its kind. But we, um, our whole purpose is to identify the next generation of artists in America so that we can keep arts alive. So we nurture them and support them with monetary awards. We help facilitate scholarships. Um, and we give them mentorships and master classes with world-renowned artists. And the point is to support them in a career in the arts. And kids apply, 15, uh, mm -hmm. what's the age? 15 to 18-year-olds? 15 year to olds. 18 years old. They apply, you get over 11,000 per year, yeah. and you pick how many? We pick about 700 total mm -hmm. winners, and the top 150, 170 of those come to Miami for a week of workshops, master classes, and performances, and Zach actually came to that week. Yeah. We also have three regional programs, one in Miami, one in LA, and one in New York, um, and we also are the sole nominating committee for the U.S. Presidential Scholars in the Arts Program, which was why we were founded, actually. And Zach was a recipient, yeah. was he not? Mm -hmm. Yes, he You're was. You're beaming over there. This has been a great program for you, huh? It's been an absolutely amazing program 2011, for me. 2011, yeah. you become part of that, and yeah. you're now at Stanford and sailing right along, right? Yeah, exactly. Not unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You play a number of instruments, but bass is your baby, right? Bass is definitely my voice and definitely uh, something I consider a a s close sibling, maybe. Yeah. How, how did the Young Arts Foundation change your life? Oh, my life. Uh, tremendously, I think. Um, for one, uh, the recognition I received for something that up until that point had been at most maybe on a local level, um, being uh, playing jazz, uh, all of a sudden, because of this foundation, was being recognized on a completely different spectrum for me than I'd ever experienced before. Really feeling connected to so many artists of different disciplines and meeting um, people who had been heroes of mine for many years for the Brent first for time. Brantford Marsalis, Ron Carter, um, Joshua Bell, as I'm sure we'll talk about soon. Um, all these opportunities came through Young Arts and, and f for those um, opportunities I've received uh, so much and most importantly just the inspiration and the drive to continue pursuing my art every day. Megan sitting here going, yeah. all right. I know. This, it, well, it Good obviously job, works. Talk about some of your alumni, because I, mm -hmm. you got a great uh, thing on your on your website where you go, really? Really? Josh Groban, too? My God. It's really crazy. Josh Groban, he actually did one of our HBO master classes as well. Carrie Washington, um, the most recent dancer of uh, who won So You Think You Can Dance, Ricky mm -hmm. Ubeda, um, mm -hmm. is, a, is an alum of our program. And we have some Bay Area alums as well. Obviously, Zach is one of them, but we have many jazz alums that have come through. We have two that work at Pixar. Um, Naomi Wolf, the writer of The Beauty Myth, um, actually is an alum of our program from the first year. Terrence Blanchard, who is an artistic director at SF Jazz, also one of our alums. So we have, you know, a lot of community here in the Bay Area with our artists, and we're excited to have more of that. So we're hoping more people apply. The deadline's October 17th. Now you played at the Grammys, did you not? I did. And you played at the Grammys, and you also got an HBO documentary coming out in October, right? Yeah, and that's... That you're a part of that? Yep, and the HBO documentary definitely came through the Young Arts program. They've got a series called Masterclass, which has uh, been a favorite show of mine for many years, and. It's really amazing to get to do one of them, and well, it's a, a program or a, a show that came out of a partnership between HBO and Young Arts. Oh, well, I can yeah. talk to you guys forever. We're out of time, but thanks yeah, for coming thank in. What you a great so program! Much. We Zach, hope everyone applies. All thanks. the best at Stanford. If you'd like more information about the Young Arts Foundation, log on to youngarts.org. Youngarts.org. That'll do it for this week's edition of Bay Sunday. We're back next week. Hope you are too. Enjoy, everybody.